sometimes I'll draw something out, other times I'll just start. Uh, but I think the most exciting thing is when I do have an idea or a form that I want to sort of try to achieve uh, in this space, but something will go wrong or something will come undone uh, and something new will appear that's uh, very surprising and catches me a bit off guard and the whole piece will actually just sort of uproot and become something brand new again. Those are the moments I actually look for and hope for. Uh, sometimes I can spend days on something and really just, you know, a lot of concentration and then something will happen and the whole thing will shift like in an hour and the shot will sort of appear. I love to see uh, students take something new and they just explode with excitement when they encounter something they've never seen before. Teaching in general helps foster creativity uh, in ways that I actually had not imagined. When I'm working with students, it pretty much turns my art brain on constantly, so I'm always thinking creatively. Penn is also super supportive of their faculty in terms of us getting out and doing our own work. I think a common thing that people see when they see anything that I make is they think it's a, a document of a sculpture. They think it's just like a documentation, a photographic documentation. And in a way, that's what it is. But the, the, the piece that I'm making, in a way, becomes like a performance for the camera. The piece really would not look so great in person. Uh, you actually you need the optics of the lens and the light to sort of transform it uh, from 3D to 2D. Hopefully I teach my students to be a little bit rebellious. I try to steer away from very cookie cutter, diagrammatic ways to make a photograph. So if I can get them to go against traditional generic photography in any way possible, I will push them towards it as fast as I can. <laughs>